Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got looks at some amazing eye candy from Earth orbiting satellites, but our top stories today are about the sun. One long term, one right now. Let's get started, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that things were not exactly calm. Eruptive events launched from the incoming limb on the left several times, then one top right quadrant, a smaller breakout pop. While the Earth-facing spots will be gone soon, it's the incoming limb eruptions that have our focus. The GOES coronagraph shows those eruptions going off the left side with a small halo eruption to end. That last one won't be much in the solar wind, a minor impact only, and you can see here, those two established spots are turning past central longitudes, but it's the left side that has our attention. Only the southern group is visible now, about another day or two for the one on the north to be visible. M6 solar flare was the peak yesterday. Will it hit X again as it did at its last pass? It is time to find out. But while we wait, let's get the eye candy. Eye of the Sahara up next, Jimmy Corsetti's favorite macro geo feature and one of mine too. Amazing false color image overlain here and they're not just pretty. False color widens the range of light to cover the color spectrum, letting you see things our human eyes can't see. Up next, Sentinel-5. Kind of hard to believe we're on the fifth one now with these getting these types of images when I very much remember Sentinel-2. This one is mapping chemicals in the atmosphere, including ozone up at the top. Of course, the top story is tangentially related to my outrageously bad day of travel to Omaha yesterday. The Airbus airplane, specifically the A320, which I was on three times yesterday for only two legs of a journey, fun airport math, having flight control data failures during high solar radiation events. Now, here's what happens for those who don't know the details. The solar storm last month nearly crashed this plane. Many of you at the time heard of the emergency and called it out. It happened at the sun commencement of the CME shockwave and geomagnetic storm in the Earth system. The error rates and data spike, and the systems aren't capable of handling it. Tell me, this isn't exactly what we've told you to watch for. Now, their update patch is going to work, for now, until things progress a bit further. Tick tock. Folks, today is winter tour event number one, Omaha, Nebraska. Still time to grab tickets to one of our other four tour stops at the link below. And guys, now through Cyber Monday, it's 20% off in person at the Observer Ranch store, 10% off online with this code, giving thanks. Everything is there, all the children's books for Christmas. And while the PDF of our major textbook is available, a couple of those physical copies are left too. And of course, Consider the Observer Ranch membership if you plan to come see us or just want to support the group. It comes with free nights at the ranch, your name on the founder wall, access to the health center at the ranch during your stay, discounts, and more. Link to that is below with the rest, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's almost 7 a.m. in Omaha, Nebraska. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.